원치 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 So a lovely, a warm welcome to you this evening for our crib service. Um, as 
I think all of you have been before. You know the drill. There will be a moment where I ask your particular character to come up the front. Um, and the idea is that basically most of you who are there end up there. So no one is uh, singled out. <laughs> it, hopefully it's not too embarrassing. Um, it's just all a bit of fun, a bit of, um, a bit of organized chaos on Christmas Eve. I'm sure you're all used to that. I don't know what your house is like, but mine's a little bit like that at the moment in any case. But on this Christmas Eve, we take a few minutes away from the rush and bustle of preparations for tomorrow to remember the birth of Jesus. So our story starts in the little town of Bethlehem, in a small space where the animals were kept very ordinary and very unimportant. So if you have an animal or an animal mask, an animal to hold up or an animal mask, you can see the straw is here ready for you. Um, brilliant. Just come and sit on the steps and you begin, <laughs> you begin our uh, our nativity at the moment. Brilliant, thank you. And so we hear that the prophet Micah says, but you Bethlehem, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come from me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from from of old, from ancient times. And so now we're going to sing. We're going to sing. So if you are able to and are comfortable to do so, please do stand. And we're going to sing a little town of Bethlehem. Um, could someone uh, bring me some liturgies so the guys at the front can see the words? You can look up at the... Brilliant. Thank you. And if you would like to join in with our nativity, there are some bits at the back. So we encourage a halo or a crown or a star. You can hold something up or you can put something on. Brilliant.
receive him still, but he Christ enters in. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we to Bethlehem in the Christmas story, Mary and Joseph, who were about to have their baby. And some people weren't very kind to them. And sometimes we know that even on this night, even with the, um, the lovely jollities of Christmas around us, we know that sometimes we need to say sorry to God too for the times when we're not kind. So we're going to say that prayer now. Father God, we're sorry for the things we do and say and think which make you sad and for not thinking of others before ourselves. Please forgive us and help us to love you and other people more and more. Amen. So may the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins, and assure us of his eternal love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So, continuing the story, Mary and Joseph travelled to Bethlehem, and Bethlehem was busy and crowded because of the census. No room could be found not even for a tired family about to have a baby. So do we have a Mary and a Joseph? I think we do. I think, Joseph, why don't you come and join your lovely pussycat here at the front? I'm going to give Mary a special chair. So if you sit there next to your pussycat, and we're going to give Mary a special chair here. Brilliant. And so the Gospel of Luke says, And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And so now we're going to sing our next carol, Once in Royal David City. Please stand. Where a mother laid her baby 
And so we say this prayer for Mary. Please join in with the words in bold. Lord Jesus, thank you for Mary, who was visited by an angel and became your mother. Jesus, light of the world, we worship and adore you. So, in the still of night, in that place in Bethlehem, a baby is born. Isaiah says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And so I think for this one we can remain seated as we sing. Lord Jesus, thank you for being born as one of us, not rich and in a palace, but poor and in a manger. Jesus, light of the world, we worship and adore you. So, on the hills outside Bethlehem, some shepherds were looking after their sheep. They weren't expecting any visitors, especially not angels. So I think it's time for our angels and our shepherds to come and join us at the front. You can come and remember and bring your candles and bring your um, liturgies because we'll be uh, lighting them. So angels and shepherds, thank you. You can come, you can sit anywhere, you can stand anywhere, you can stand on the steps, sit on the steps. Just come. Brilliant. <laughs> there we go and so the gospel of Luke says an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified but the angel said to them do not be afraid I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people 
And so if you're able to stand, please stand for our next cat. And so we pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for the shepherds who listened to the song of the angels, left sheep and fields, and hurried to worship you. Jesus, light of the world, we worship and adore you. And so, in a distant country, wise men saw a new star. They followed it to find the newborn king to whom it led. And so do we have any stars, brilliant or wise people? If we have any stars or wise people with crowns, now is your moment. Come and join us at the front. Brilliant, brilliant. If you feel you've missed your moment, you're welcome to come to the front now. <laughs> the, the animals have all, came right at the beginning, so, so you find a place amongst the straw, and the, if you would like to come, now is your moment. <laughs> this is what I like to see. And so Matthew says, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. I suggest you guys stay seated at this point, but we are going to sing again. If you would like to stand or you can stay seated whilst we sing our next carol.
Thank you for the wise men who brought three wonderful gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Jesus, light of the world, we worship and adore you. So now on this Christmas Eve, we come to find the Christ child, the newborn king. John's gospel says, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. And so now we're going to light our candles. Um, oh, I picked up a candle, but maybe I have laid it down somewhere. Yes, grab a candle and then come back and we will... Now, be very, very careful with your candle. Keep it away from hair or straw. And if you can pass it along, that would be great. And maybe those of you who are sat there, you might like to gather round at the front so we are all together now. Is that all right? There we go. Is everyone lighting each other's candles? Brilliant. You can come in. You, can, you don't have to sit on that. You can come and sit it um, on chairs at the front if you'd like. So we're all together. And at this point... I think Simon has slightly disappeared, but if somebody could uh, turn the lights out. Okay. Simon, could you turn the lights out for us? Wonderful. And now we're going to sing.
am I on? There we go. I forgot to reintroduce Molly at the beginning. Hopefully she's not too cross, but that's what Christmas Eve is like. It's a bit chaotic. I've also found my candle. That's where I put it. There we go. Right, Molly. Let's see. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. So this is Molly. Those of you who've been here a few times know Molly. So you know that she's a regular. You're a regular here, aren't you? Um, and Molly learns all about Christmas. She loves Christmas and she loves to tell us everything about Christmas, don't you, Molly? And most years, Molly brings something for us to learn, to teach us a bit more about Christmas. But you know, this year, Molly, I've brought something. I know, sorry, but it's my turn. Okay, there we go. Would you like to know what I've brought? Yeah, okay. Well, I've brought a video <coughs> from a comedian called Jason Manford. It's okay. It'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know if some of you know, but Jason Manfred has released a single called Assembly Bangers. Um, and some of the older people here, by which I mean people about my age, may, may know, well, and maybe older, um, may know some of these songs. The money raised for this single is going to Trussell Trust, uh, who run food banks. So for those people who don't have enough food. Um, so it's a fun thing, but it's also it's a good thing because it's helping people too. What do you think, Molly? You think that's OK? OK. So what we're going to do now is we're going to listen to that. Um, and I'm going to ask you all to stand. And if you know it, I want you to join in. I'm p particularly expecting the parents, carers, grandparents to particularly <coughs> join in, because I think you will know some of these songs. So Molly, I'm going to put you down for a moment. But everyone else, I'm going to ask you to stand. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine.
a breath. <laughs> um, it's a bit like a keep fit <laughs> with, with all that singing, isn't it, Molly? What did you think about it? Did you like it? Oh, she said yes, and she particularly liked some of the dad dancing. Well, a bit rude, but yes, we've all got some moves going on, even those of us. Oh, sorry, I put my microphone on. Uh, it is on. I think it's on. I think it's been on the whole time, I think. <laughs> it's my husband trying to help me out there. You can hear me, can't you? Brilliant. Okay, I think we've all got some moves, even those of us who are maybe getting on a bit. Okay. Well, what did you think of that? Oh, you liked it, but you weren't sure what it had to do with Christmas. Well, I guess for me, Molly, there are a couple of things. I thought it was fun. Christmas is quite fun, isn't it? Um, it's raising money to help people. And often at Christmas, that's an important thing to think about, isn't it? About helping people. Yeah, we've thought about that before. But it also made me think about those old songs from when I was a child. And sometimes that's a bit what Christmas is like. You don't get it. Okay. Well, sometimes I think that Christmas, we think about it as a nice story from long ago. It's fun to remember, but we're not quite sure what it means to us right now, at this moment, when we're that little bit older. But the songs, this song, is helping people now. Well, yes, that's true, exactly. And that's the point about Christmas, that even though it's a story that we remember being told, perhaps even a long time ago, so when some of you guys get older and you remember coming to the crib service, you remember this story that you were told a long time ago, perhaps we think about it every year at Christmas. But the meaning is also important for us today as well, isn't it? Yeah, so that God is with us today, just like at that first Christmas when Jesus was born. God is with us today, and that when things are good, and that when things are bad, that is still true. Can we sing another song now? Yes, of course we can. And hopefully, this will be one that everyone knows as well. And this is one where still we need to sing very loudly and make as much noise as we can. This is the next bit of the story, isn't it? Okay, let me put you down, Moles. Right. So we need to hand out the instruments now. Um. <laughs> So I might need a little hand from the back. Which one would you like then? There's jingly bells. Marcus, would you like the bells? Oh, this one. There we go, brilliant, thank you. Would you like any instruments here? Yeah. That's got a good sound. There's some maracas and maybe a bit louder. Would you like a maraca? <laughs> brilliant, thank you, Jane. Brilliant. Once you've got your instrument, if you can stand up.
we'd all like to uh, stand. So we want to make you to make as much noise as you can. You've heard the Christmas story. You've heard that God is with us. Uh, we know that here throughout the year, but we remember it especially at this time, that God is always with us, uh, no, matter, no matter what. So Jesus is God's gift to the world, and he calls everyone to know him, so let's celebrate with him. There's a new king born today. See the shepherds hurry down to Bethlehem. Gaze in wonder at the Son of God who laid him for them. And join the celebration. so many lovely familiar faces. Um, it's lovely to see you all. I do hope that your Christmases are all wonderful, but I also know that there's always lots of stuff going on at Christmas, and sometimes that's a lot of joy, and sometimes there's, there's other stuff mixed in with that as well. So whatever is happening for you at Christmas, please do know that God is with you in all of that. Um, and if we can be here with you and for you at St. Michael's, then we will definitely do that. So may you enjoy your Christmas time, know that God is real and has come to live among us. And perhaps we'll see you for the next bit of the story at Easter time. Uh, so please stand as we have our final blessing. Um, and just a reminder, I'm sure you're... you're uh, uh, already prepared for the lovely mulled wine and mince pies and cakes and things that will be at the back. So please do stay um, and enjoy those and each other's company. So may the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. As we await our coming Saviour, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.